Jamie, Prince of Planet Blarb, flees to Earth to escape the villainous flocks who want to eat him alive. So they send an agent to capture him with the help of a mutant cow. Jamie meets Erwin Walsh, a young Earthling who will become his best friend, for better or worse. Jamie's got tentacles, friendship, suspense, and tentacles. It's completely harmless. <laughs> What's wrong, monster? You never seen a plant before, or what? Wonderful. Just the two of us under a starry sky. Mm -hmm. Hey, wave hello to my mom. You look so lovely in the moonlight. <laughs> hey, what you doing? I mean, besides keeping me awake. As you can see, we're enjoying the moonlight. We? Personally, I'd rather be enjoying my bed. Oh, I wasn't talking about you. Erwin, I've met someone. What are you talking about? I said, I've met someone. Jamie, it's four o'clock in the morning. It's cold. Erwin, <laughs> I think I'm in love. Oh, who are you? But with who? Erwin, I want you to meet Parsi. Mm, who's a plant? I can't see her. Erwin, she is the plant. Huh? Uh, Jamie, we need to talk. So, in a nutshell, you're in love with my mom's plant? Totally. Have you seen her leaves and her little pot? But it's a plant, Jamie. It doesn't move. It doesn't talk. Hmm. In a way, I suppose it's perfect. Yes, but no. She's a living thing, too. She has so much to say. For example, she finds your remarks quite rude. Huh? <sighs> You're in love with a plant. You aliens are weird sometimes. Oh well, I guess if she makes you happy. Oh, Erwin, you know, Parsi's got this cousin, a cute little orchid with these big green leaves. I hear she's super pretty. <laughs> we'll talk about that some other time. It's very late. Good night, sweetheart. Lieutenant! <gasps> Jamie's in love with a plant. And that's why you woke me up in the middle of the night? Well, yeah. I don't know how that can help us catch him, but I'm ruminating on it. Well, go ruminate in your pen, you silly cow, and let me sleep. <laughs> you left the light on for the pigs, perhaps? You see? Isn't this beautiful? I come here every morning to listen to the frogs, watch the sunrise. What's that? You want to move into our room? Erwin? Why, of course he'll agree. In fact, I think he really likes you. What are you doing? You're not going to put that thing in my room. I didn't think it would be a problem. You know, we just can't live without each other anymore. But she gives me hives! That's the point. You'll get used to her. <laughs> Ouch! There. Make yourself at home. What's that? Yeah, the decor isn't superb. 
And you're right, it does smell like socks. But you'll learn to like it, I'm sure. Enough already! It's still my room! Aww. I'm sure we're gonna have lots of fun. Just the three of us. to a bad start. I get it. You're in love, yada, yada, yada. But Jamie is my only friend, and I don't want to lose him. You do realize you're talking to a plant, don't you? She's a living thing for your uh, information. You hear that, Mr. Pom Pom? I don't believe it. So, I've been thinking, and I think I found a way to solve our little problem. Now then, you'll be just fine. And the decor should suit you, too. And it doesn't smell like socks here. Like my room! I'm warning you, no use putting up a fight. Wait till you hear my plan, Lieutenant. It's ingenious. I'm weary, Sergeant. Because of you, I haven't slept a week. I kidnapped Jamie's girlfriend. And since Jamie loves her, well, he's gonna come looking for her. So here I got a hen, uh, just to show you, see? Uh, but of course, Jamie's gonna come over and not a hen. Thank you, but I get it. And then, wham! We knock him out with a huge rock like that. <laughs> so? So I just want to go back to bed. Erwin, I just wanted to say, we'll play together again real soon. I've been spending too much time with Parsi. It's just that I'm so in love, you can't imagine. No, not really. But don't worry about me, Jamie. So, I'm still your best friend from outer space? Absolutely! By the way, where is she? Parsi! Don't worry, maybe she decided to leave you. What? But that's horrible! Well, yeah, that's why I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> no, poor Jamie! You know, it's not that bad, and you still have me! We can still have fun together like we did before! Uh, but why did she have to go? <laughs> Jamie, you do remember I can't swim, don't you? Uh, Press blarbs. A broken heart takes days to mend. <laughs> okay, Jamie. Dry your tears, and I'll go see if I can find Parson. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Where did she go? Oh. He won't come. Now let me sleep. He will too. I'm telling you, he won't. Will too. Won't. Will too. Nice to see you again. You haven't changed. <laughs> um, my oh my. Okay, I don't know how you got here, and I really don't care. But I confess, I did a very bad thing, so I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't mean it. It won't happen again. I promise. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. You promise not to tell Jamie, and you can come back to my room. 
He's very sad, and I, I don't like seeing him this way. So, what do you say? Then it's a deal! Will not. Will to. Will not. Will to. Look at that. Jamie did come and get the plant. I knew it. Wasn't that a brilliant idea? Ah! <laughs> uh -oh. This time, I'm really going back to bed. Parsi! <sighs> Poor thing! Lost and alone out there in the sun! Luckily, I was there to rescue her. Right, Parsi? <laughs> ah, sweetheart. Thank you, Erwin. You're a real pal. You're welcome. I'm happy when you're happy. And I want to share my room with both of you. That's nice of you, Erwin. But Parsi's going to stay on my planet. Huh? She'll wait for me there. Yeah! And she won't be sad? No. And she won't be alone, you know. Besides, she's dying to meet my parents. Right, Parsi? Welcome, Miss Parsi. I'm delighted to finally meet you. Oh, your leaves are just gorgeous. My son has such good taste. Come, let me show you to your room. There, I'll let you get acquainted. Lieutenant! My plan was a washout. But now, I have another one. It's so much better. I'll dig up a hole and start playing the flute, and then... Sweet dreams, Sergeant. 